Matt from Investaquant. Today is Monday, May 16, 2022. The markets were strong on Friday, closing up about 2% on the session and not far off the highs of the session. It was still a down week, but we finished strong on Friday. Today, we are gapping lower following that strong close on Friday. So what we're going to be looking at this morning is that type of pattern where you have a strong Friday followed by a gap down as we come into the beginning of the week. So I'm going to grab all four instruments. The setup is based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. We are trading lower in the overnight session. So from the opening filters, we're going to go to gap direction, click on gap down. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the price patterns. And I'm going to say that uh, the prior session was a strong day that closed up at least 1% higher. So I'm going to go to the active today. I'm going to grab this one right here, close greater than 1% higher. I could go 2%, but I'm going to go with 1% just because I want to keep as many samples as possible. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the indicators library. I'm going to say we closed below a 200-day simple moving average. So I'm going to click below right here. I could use the 10 as well, but again, I want to keep as many samples as possible. And this is going to get a little bit thin by the time. I add Monday to it. So um, I've just gone with below a 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the calendar library and I'm going to click on Monday from the active today uh, for day of the week. So we will have uh, gapping down on a Monday when the prior session was a 1% higher close in a week market. All right, let me click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. When it is a Monday, you're gapping down. The prior session closed up at least 1%, but under a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 28 samples here in the S&P, 18 in the NASDAQ, 29 in the Dow, 37 in the Russell. The win rate's on them. Coming in a little bit mixed, you've got S&P at 46% of these have closed above the opening print for the day. For the NASDAQ, it's 67%. That is the smallest sample size, though. Uh, for the Dow, 41%. For the Russell, 41%. So uh, three of the four instruments coming in below 50%, and the one with the fewest samples is above. If we look at the average moves, average loss larger than average win here in the S&P. That is also the case in the NASDAQ. That is the case in the Dow as well. The Russell's the only one that has a larger average win compared to its average loss. So historically speaking, three out of four of them have win rates that are a little bit weaker uh, than 50-50, and three out of four of them have larger average moves to the downside with this pattern. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.